humans aren't the only animals to make friends. In fact, elephants, whales, primates, hyenas, horses, and vicuñas all form strong, enduring social bonds that aren't directly related to mating. In other words, they make friends. But that seems weird because tons of animals live in groups or herds, but relatively few make friends. Why is that? Well, living in large groups isn't easy. The more individuals in the group, the more likely it is that conflicts will pop up. So smart animals form alliances for protection from other groups and for help with things like finding food or taking care of the kids. And this leads to a sort of layered animal society. So an individual might have a few close friends that they spend most of their time with, a bunch of acquaintances that might help out to find food, and an even larger circle that really only comes together when there's a true danger to the whole group. Studies of animal societies in the wild have found that each layer tends to be about three times as large as the previous one. And keeping track of all these different relationships isn't simple. You have to know how your actions will affect others in the group, and that takes a big brain. It also takes a lot of time to maintain those relationships. And in the wild, that time is usually spent grooming. Grooming releases endorphins, which help an individual feel relaxed and trusting of the company they're in. In nature, the more time two individuals spend grooming each other, the stronger their bond tends to be. But there's only so much time in the day, and that, plus brain size, puts a limit on how many friends an individual can have. This is known as Dunbar's number, and it's a way to predict how big a natural group of animals will be. For chimps, it's about 50. For humans, it's more like 150. But humans don't have more time in a day than chimps, so how can we have more friends? Well, we've invented ways to groom more than one person at a time, like jokes, songs, dancing, even rituals. These things give a lot of the same benefits as grooming, but work at larger scales, allowing us to form more complex and layered societies. So friendship helps human and other animal societies stick together, but there's also real benefits for individuals as well. Research shows that males with friends tend to outcompete males without friends for food and mates. And females with the strongest friendships have higher infant survival rates and live longer. So friendship is great, but it takes a lot of time and intelligence, which helps explain why, in nature at least, good friends really are hard to find. <laughs>